Hola, privet, and hui mida. It's Faye Margena, and I'm back again with a, another lesson in the Russian for Spanish speakers course. I'm on the skill uh, sup, subjuntivo. I guess is how you say it in Spanish. <laughs> Portuguese. Subjuntivo. Yeah, subjuntivo. And I believe there's three lessons in it, so let's start the first one, empezar. Спасибо, но я уже поел. Спасибо. Pero ya payel payel gracias pero ya comí thank you but I already ate oops I do that okay ya quiero pasar a trabajar en el café <laughs> Sorry, I just got distracted by my friend's comments about something. Ya hochu kiero pazatraket. Ya hochu pazatraket v kafe. Pazatraket. Pazatraket. Ya hochu pazatraket v kafe. Something in the cafeteria in the cafe. Kiero desayunar. Desayunar in el in the cafeteria. In what type of lunch at the cafeteria? Cafeteria. Is there an accent? That looks like an accent over the eye. I want to have lunch at the. I would just say cafe. I mean. <coughs> um. Is this actually supposed to mean cafe from Spanish to English? Or is that literally a cafeteria? Um, because, um, I mean, there's a difference between a cafe uh, versus a cafeteria. Um, uh, la. Yeah, I just want to see pictures. I guess they do mean it is a cafe. Ah, okay. Oh, look at that one. How very cute. Okay, so they do mean it is a cafe, and then the Russian is uh. uh, uh switch to 
Russian. And I was doing Greek the other day, and now I can't type Russian. I want to see pictures of cafe. Yeah, not a Russian cafes. Oh, I really miss that sunny, yummy. So actually, you know, I was just touching my face just now, and it's like um, I'm at home. So you know, and you know, I obviously, you know, throughout the day I wash and clean and stuff like that. You know, and I have a shower. I actually am one of those people that have a shower at least twice a day. I, I don't know about other people, but I, I just don't feel right if I don't shower before bed. And I, and sometimes when I get up, I don't feel right unless I shower because it wakes me up a little bit. And you know, have a warm shower and get your body warmed up but um <laughs> but uh so I'm at home and uh, you know the other day I saw a message on Twitter this girl trying not to touch her face <laughs> since people are like oh you know if you're sick don't touch your if you think you might have coronavirus just or you're sick don't t don't touch your face don't touch your eyes nose or mouth and she's like she's basically like she's trying to do and then she's like this and I'm like thinking yeah, I probably touched my face quite a lot, actually. I didn't realize that until I started streaming. So, um, so Russian cafes. Uh, I miss. Uh, we used to have a Russian restaurant here. It was really cute. It was called Sunny Yummy. And it was they they um, had a nice like yellow decorations outside, and their sign was yellow. Nice, you know, the Sunny Yummy. Uh, you know, it's the one thing between Canadians and Russians that I think are very similar. We we like our sunshine because we don't get enough of it. <laughs> and even when we do get enough of of the sun in like the summertime, it's get it gets really hot. <laughs> um, so there's no like mild. I mean, eh, don't get me wrong. I mean, fall and spring can be fairly mild seasons in Canada, especially like along the border with the U.S. And, and, like most Canadians live in the southern part of Canada, so um, so it can be kind of mild in fall or spring, but it generally, you know, my joke is, you know, it's like nine months of winter and then it's summer <laughs> for for a little while, <laughs> for just like, you know, and, and then it goes to summer and it's like two weeks of really, really hot summer and then it goes back to, you know, and then eventually winter again. That's my joke about living in Canada. So I think Russians and Canadians have this one thing in common about the whole sunshine, sunny yummy. <laughs> um, so, okay, yeah, so uh, cafe, Russian cafes. I, I guess those are pretty much like other cafes. Yeah, okay. And the Spanish one here is like this. Yeah, it's pretty much like the cafes here in the Netherlands. All right. Uh, I just wanted to look that up because I couldn't remember. Tuje Payel. Tuje Payel. Wait, what? Why? You didn't even record me this time. Uh, you know what? I think I might reset my Duolingo. S uh, can I do this? I don't want to really clear the cookies, but I want to clear the permissions. You said that. Let's see what happens. Yeah, uh, yesterday towards the end of my stream, Duolingo started getting really finicky with my uh, audio, and I've been I've been doing okay with their audio stuff on my Chrome in Linux compared to like when I try to do it in, um, when I try to uh, do Duolingo in Google Chrome on a Windows machine, it never records my audio. Like Duolingo will never record my audio correctly. It just basically says, no, you're wrong. Which is really annoying and frustrating. And, and it wasn't so bad before originally Duolingo allowed you to be able to keep trying to do the pronunciation exercise and you could just skip it if you just like if it was you know in case of technical problems like it wasn't recording properly now it just says you're wrong and you're wrong and you don't get another shot the skipping was nice because I don't think we should be punished because of a technical issue 
So reload this. Okay, I. What uh, notifications? I don't need it. Um, and it's gonna need. Uh, okay, yeah. Let's just reset that. I think. Hopefully my Chrome doesn't need to be updated right now because that would be annoying. Uh, oh, Google Chrome. Doesn't look like it. I'll check later. That was I I don't know why it started doing this to me with the audio. Я хочу пообедать в два часа. This is Amorsar. Oh, sorry, Desayunar. Why am I? Desayunar means to have um, to have breakfast. Desayunar. Why am I doing that one? Desayunar means to have breakfast. Sorry, Amorsar means to have lunch. Uh, Quiero almorzar. A las dos. Quiero almorzar. A las dos. Yeah, so I want to have lunch at two. Estos. That's what that means. Ya хочу пообедать в два часа. Ya хочу пообедать. Я хочу пообедать в два часа. Пообедать. Я хочу пообедать в два часа. Они позавтракали в девять часов утра. Они позавтракали в девять часов утра. So this means they had breakfast at nine in the morning. I'm just gonna go check that. Okay, we don't need EOS. Sonora a las nueve en la mañana. Uh, oh, sorry, de la mañana. Uh, de la mañana. Я хочу пообедать в два часа. Okay, hopefully he'll cut me off this time. Я хочу. Я хочу пообедать в два часа. Пообедать в два часа. Okay. Я хочу пообедать в два часа. В два часа. Два. Два. Я хочу поступить на биологический факультет. Поступить. Биологический факультет. Биологический. 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 
Биологический. Биологический. Биологический. Биологический. Факультет. На. Биологический. Факультет. Киара интереса. Она. Биологический. Факультет. Биология. Она факультет. Она факультет. Yeah. I think there's an accent. Okay. Uh, so I want to enter the faculty of biology, is what I would say in English. Uh, yeah. Russian. I want to go to the faculty of biology. Я хочу поступить на биологический факультет. Okay. Почему ты позавтракал без меня? Okay. Pas pas Почему ты позавтракал без меня? Без меня. Я синий. Uh, why did you help breakfast without me? Почему ты позавтракал без меня? Завтракал. Почему ты позавтракал без меня? Почему ты, почему ты позавтракал без меня? Почему ты пос, почему ты позавтракал, позавтракал? Почему ты позавтракал без меня? Без меня. Они позавтракали в 9 часов утра. Они позавтракали. Они позавтракали. Они позавтракали в 9 часов утра. 9 часов утра. Они позавтракали в 9 часов утра. Позавтракали. Часов. Ты уже поел. Did you already eat? Вчера Хасе пообедал в кафе. Вчера. 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 Хасе. Хасе. Вчера Хасе пообедал в кафе. Пообедал. Вчера Хасе пообедал в кафе. Пообедал. Кафе. Почему ты позавтракал без меня? Почему ты позавтракал? Почему ты позавтракал без меня? Почему ты позавтракал без меня? Я хочу позавтракать в кафе. Завтра я пообедаю дома. Or I want to eat breakfast in the cafe. Ты уже поел. Ты уже поел. Ты уже поел. No, why? Why? Ты уже поел. Ты уже поел. 
You're gonna make this hard on me. Yeah, okay, fine. I'll allow you to send notifications. Завтра я пообедаю дома. Почему ты позавтракал без меня? Завтра я пообедаю дома. Okay, if they mark me, if this cuts off on me before I finish talking again, I'm just gonna ignore the audio stuff. Bye, Biedu. Bye, Biedu. Bye, Biedu. Завтра я пообедаю дома. Завтра, завтра я пообедаю дома. Завтра я пообедаю дома. Они позавтракали в девять часов утра. Naran they had breakfast at nine in the morning. Я хочу поступить на биологический факультет. Они позавтракали в девять часов утра. Они позавтракали в девять часов утра. Они позавтракали в девять часов утра. Часов. Часов? Часов. 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 В девять часов. В девять часов. В девять часов. Спасибо, но я уже поел. Gracias. Pero ya a comí. Thank you, I already ate. Я хочу пообедать в два часа. Quiero almorzar a las dos. I want to have lunch at two. Мой брат хочет поступить на юридический факультет. They really want me to screw up. Мой брат хочет. Мой брат хочет. Хочет. Поступить. Поступить. На. Юридический факультет. Юридический факультет. Юридический факультет. Юридический факультет. Юридический факультет. Юридический факультет. Мой брат хочет поступить на 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 юридический факультет. Вчера Хасе пообедал в кафе. Я думаю, что, возможно, я немного ускорю русский, 
Yesterday, Jose had lunch in the cafe. You can say una if you want. Yesterday, Jose had lunch in a cafe. You don't know which cafe, but you could be talking about a specific cafe. Я хочу позавтракать в кафе. Киаро Я хочу позавтракать в кафе. Ты уже поел. Ты уже поел. Ты уже поел. 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 Ты уже поел. Ты уже поел. Мы идем в кафе, чтобы поесть. Идем в Мы идем в кафе, чтобы поесть. Чтобы um, we're going to the cafe to eat. Я рано встал, чтобы пойти на пляж. Рано встал. Рано. Рано. Встал. Я рано встал. Я рано встал. Рано. Рано. Что пойти? Эр на пляж. 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 Let's straight up the French пляж. 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 Wait, did I say Levanto? That's bad. Levante Temprano Para Air. Pachi. Ah. Ah. I may Levante Temprano Para Air a la Paia. Ваня купил билет, чтобы в субботу пойти на концерт. Ваня, um, Ваня купил билет, чтобы в субботу пойти на концерт. Ваня купил. Купил. Ваня купил билет, чтобы в субботу пойти на концерт. Ваня купил билет, чтобы в субботу пойти на концерт. Ваня купил билет. Чтобы в субботу пойти на концерт. Ваня купил билет, чтобы в субботу пойти на концерт. На концерт. Ваня купил билет, чтобы в субботу пойти на концерт Okay, I think that's right. Okay, let's try this. Okay, thank God. Почему ты позавтракал без меня? 
खुद चुनौती पर साफ रखा Почему ты позавтракал без меня? Почему ты позавтракал без меня? Мы идем в кафе, чтобы поесть. Мы идем в кафе, чтобы поесть. Мы идем в кафе, чтобы поесть. Мы. 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 Мы идем в кафе, чтобы поесть. Я хочу пообедать в два часа. Я хочу пообедать в два часа. Я хочу пообедать в два часа. Два часа. Я покупаю билеты, чтобы завтра пойти в кино. Я. Я. Я покупаю билеты, чтобы завтра пойти в кино. Я покупаю билеты, чтобы завтра пойти в кино. Я покупаю билеты, чтобы завтра пойти в кино. Я хочу позавтракать в кафе. Я хочу позавтракать в кафе. Я хочу позавтракать в кафе. Oh, thank God, finished. Okay, continue our. I'm not sure I'm going to do another lesson today, actually. That one was a little stressful. <laughs> oh. Okay, uh, lección completada, 10 puntos de experiencia. Y cinco puntos de experiencia. Super bueno. He's so cute. Isn't he cute? Totally in it for the owl. Continue <coughs> And I earned five lingots. Can I stay thinking of lingots? Yeah, I, I like to call them lingots. Uh, every other kind of way of pronouncing it sounds weird. Well, yeah, it's a lingot because the English word ingot. Uh, here, let me just go. Uh, yeah, I, I, that's my streak. Okay, continue our. Um, uh, yeah, I call it lingots because I, it rhymes with the, I think they mean it to rhyme with the English word ingot. Um, lingot. So, ingot, or what, lingo, plus ingot, and you get lingot. So, you know, I'm pretty sure you pronounce it as ingot in English. Uh, ingot. So I think uh, I think some people are like, how do you pronounce this? And I'm, I'm like thinking, it's got to be, they're playing on the word ingot. Because ingot is a, a type of metal that I guess, uh, did, it, did it actually get used at one point as a form of currency? Maybe? I don't know. Uh, yeah. Precious metal ling ingots. I almost said lingots. Precious metal ingots can be used as currency with or without being... Or as a currency reserve as with gold bars. Yeah, so lingot. Uh, so you pronounce this as an ingot. Ingot. Yeah. So I, I call it lingots. So just in case people are wondering, how do you pronounce this? It's a, it's a play on lingo and ingot, I'm pretty sure. Lingo and ingot. And you get, so you get lingot, which rhymes with ingot. Um, okay, so that is my Duolingo lesson for today. I am going to take a quick break and um, I will come back and actually, yeah, that kind of broke my brain today <laughs> for some reason. Um, I, I, I'm trying to finish up my Assassin's Creed Odyssey um, playthrough and uh, I don't tend to play games more than once unless I really really like the story I mean I guess it's not true I mean because I did play like Dragon Age and Ma I, I played the Dragon Age series and, pro and Mass Effect more than once I guess except for maybe except that maybe I only played one character of Mass Effect 3 and then I played one character 
with Dragon Age Inquisition, I can't remember. Or at the very least, I only finished Mass Effect 3 with one character, and I finished um, Dragon Age Inquisition with one character. I just didn't have time to go back and play it again, because all these new games come out and they're fun. So, um, uh, oh, actually, I should check the store quickly. Um, but yes, I will be, uh, hopefully, uh, I'm just going to try and uh, go play some Assassin's Creed. Maybe if I have time later, I'll pop back in and do some more language stuff. I don't know. Okay, so I don't need any of that stuff right now. Okay, close that tab. Okay, so that is my Duolingo lesson for today. We did one lesson in the Russian for Spanish speakers course in the skill subjunctivo, subjunctive tense. Okay, so I gotta wrap my brain around between the Spanish and the Russian. So I will be back later and hope to see you around if you're interested in the games uh, please feel free to pop by um, otherwise I'll see you tomorrow for the, another Duolingo lesson Asto Fuego Dovstrici and Totstrax see you soon <laughs>